Hi everybody, Dom the Somme here, transmitting from beautiful sunny London. Uh, wherever you are, I hope the weather is beautiful and I hope you are safe in this current time. Now, it's English Wine Week, so I thought, let's talk about English wine. Do you drink English wine? Have you tried it? I hope so. I thought, shall I buy some for this uh, little video? I thought, no, what have I got in the fridge? I must have some English wine in the fridge. I have two bottles and they're quite similar, which is I thought was pretty cool. The first one is this one. Do I have the complexion to pull that off? <laughs> Quite. Uh, this is from the Renegade Winery. They are based in Bethnal Green, just very close to Bethnal Green Station. Um, it's 100% Croatana, uh, Croatina, excuse me, Croatina grape from the Lombardy region of Italy. Now, I know, are you thinking it's an Italian grape? This is supposed to be English Wine Week. Yes, these grapes were from Italy, but they were vinified. The wine was made right here in London. So that means they definitely can get on the English wine list. This is a uh, sparkling rosé, as you can see. And it's very interesting what they do. They um, take applicants. If you want your face to appear on the bottle, you just um, message them on Instagram. They always have campaigns when they're, they're launching a new wine and they'll, they'll pick somebody and take your photo and you will be on the wine. This lady is called Crystal. Uh, and the latest one is a Bacchus, which you should be able to see here now. This is a guy called Paul. I'm sure it's Paul. I hope it's Paul. Uh, that's Bacchus, and the grapes are actually from Herefordshire, so that's 100% English wine if you want to get uh, finicky. Uh, big shout to Warwick. Uh, he's down there. I did some bottling with them in February. Um, beautiful people, beautiful team, and making some fantastic wine. This one is no longer available. I'm so sorry. They only make 2,800 bottles, but like I said, the Bacchus is now available, and there's some other wines on the site. I'll put the link down here. You know when people do that? Down here and it's never quite there, is it? I'll put the link down there so you can see. Here's the other one I have in my fridge. Tillingham. Oh, Tillingham, I love you so. Uh, this is a 2017 blend of Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, Chardonnay and Schoenberger, which is a Pinot Noir cross that was originally developed in Germany, I think in around 1979. Um, it grows well in Germany, it grows well in the UK. It um, can deal with our climate very well, even though the climate's getting a lot warmer. Um, this one is, is Pet Nat, so it's on the leaves. You can see the leaves and bits and pieces. It hasn't been disgorged uh, swimming around in here. Um, so this is really fun. I love everything that uh, Tillingham do. They do some Cabernet Chardonnays at the moment. Um, I'll put the link down here. Um, so check out their stuff as well as you can. So yeah, I was very happy that I had two in essence sparkling rosés in my fridge, um, good to go. I'm not sure when, this one I'm gonna keep for a little bit longer. This one I'll probably drink with my wife, I think. So that sounds like the fun way to do it. Also, uh, sparkling wine I love, uh, Gus Bourne, uh, out of the UK. They're down in Ashford, Kent. They do uh, uh, Blanc de Noirs, uh, a champagne traditional method, trio of grapes, uh, Blanc de Blanc. Uh, also, interesting, one of the best, in my humble opinion, one of the best Pinot Noirs out of the UK I've ever had is there, is the Gus Bourne Pinot Noir. It is really, really something. Uh, if you haven't tried it and you're curious, think, hmm, hmm, English Pinot Noir, that sounds, you know, I've served it to a few, to a few guests um, and they were, they were very happy and blown away with it as well. So yes, check that out. Also Hattingley Valley, I love Hattingley Valley. Um, uh, shout to all the team down there. Uh, they do a Blanc de Blanc that will just blow your mind, particularly the 2011. If you can get your hands on the 2011, do. Even if it's in magnum form, even better. Um, yeah, they're doing some fantastic stuff. So yeah, that's a little mini chit chat about English sparkling wine, English wine week. Um, grab whatever you can in your local independent wine store, online, in your supermarket, or if you're at a restaurant, check out English wine and support what we've got going on, because it's only going to get better and better. Okay, have a great weekend. Thomas Somme, signing out.